Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the Digital Fabric Library. This is the Anna Brandt Signature Dress Toss Overlay Collection for Photoshop. The library contains 135 individual flowing fabrics shot in Anna's Tustin Studio and adapted by myself for Photoshop, so you can use them on your images. These fabrics are ideal for applying to your maternity and portrait photos and can be easily adapted and blended perfectly using the Photoshop actions provided. When you download the fabrics, please bear in mind it's a really large file, um, like I say there's 135 fabrics in here, so it will take a little while to download. This is in a zipped folder, you can unzip um, or extract these files after download like everything at LSP. You'll notice the fabrics are organised by background tone. This is the background of your image, so for example if you've shot on white, you'll want to open this folder here for the very light or white backgrounds. If you shot on a grey or a bone or a cream or something like that, you're probably going to want to open this mid-tone backgrounds. If you shot on, for example, I don't know, a dark brown or blue or black or something like that, you're going to want to look in this folder here. Once you open the folder that works best for your background, for example, let's go for mid-tone here, you will see the fabrics again are organised from light to dark. So again, you can decide uh, which tone of fabric is going to suit your image the best. The fabrics are all desaturated and they're just organised by the background tone here from white to dark. The reason they're desaturated is because when you bring them into Photoshop, you can adapt the colour perfectly to match your image. And it also frees you up to choose the fabric based on the shape and the swoosh that you think will suit your image rather than the colour. You will also notice if you come back here there are also full skirts included, again for lights or darks, which gives you even more choice when applying to your images here. This way you can easily narrow everything down to the right fabrics to use for your image and you can always go back and choose again and again and again. You'll also find inside your download the Fabric Applicator Photoshop Action. You can double click this and it will open up directly into your Action Palette in Photoshop. To see the actions you can either click on the play button here, if you can't see that you can come up here to Window Actions and the actions will appear here. You may notice they're in grey button mode, um, grey editing mode, sorry, you can use them like that if you want to. You can click the action and press play. LSP actions come with instructions included and tips, the ones with the play button are the actions you play. I prefer to view in button mode, so I'm going to click on these little lines up here and go to button mode and you can see this is where I have colour coded the actions for you. Notice how they're arranged for the lighting, um, lighting from camera left or lighting from camera right. So that depends on how you've lit your image and this is to adapt the fabrics to suit the shadows of your image so make sure you're aware of where your lighting is. Uh, for the photo, because that will really help in getting a really realistic effect. So now using this and the fabrics, you can easily adapt the fabric to your image, um, either by using the guided fabric applicator action, which takes you through step by step, or the expert fabric, fabric action, which just plays out. I'd recommend starting with the guided action first, because it, you'll find it kind of gives you a tutorial on exactly the best way to add the actions. And then you may find after a couple of goes you're quite happy to play the expert action out. So please watch the next video so I can walk you through how to use the Photoshop action to add these fabrics to your images. See you there!